Super Doctor! Super Doctor? Yeah, we're now Super Doctors. Uh oh. Look in the sky. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a resident? No. Oh my god, it's Marcus Vaughn and Valerie Blaylock! They're flying in the air! How? How are those doctors flying? Well, right now they're flying to Caduceus for a special assignment. I wanna fly with you. I wanna fly with you. I wanna fly with you! I wanna oh, be in oh, this! I, forgot. I wanna fly with you! <laughs> Episode select! Oops. Episode select! New surroundings, Episode by the way! Episode select! A special assignment is getting me I'm in the I'm leaving you game. at the old hospital! <laughs> Marcus! <laughs> Sorry, it's had to be done. <laughs> anyway. Literally cuts ties with me. No! New beginnings! With, uh, yeah, the old ball and chain over here. <laughs> I'm not your girl. Get the hell out of here. Maryland, on the Atlantic coast of the United States of America. We're in Maryland? In a location close to the nation's capital lies the U.S. branch of Caduceus. I thought we were in, in that treats Los Angeles. Or not anymore. Caduceus, Caduceus upgraded? USA they went to Maryland? Of health and human services. Yet they have their this is completely across the United... Maybe there's different branches. Missions. Maybe it's a different kind of United States. Neo United States. Yeah, like in Death Stranding, where uh, the entirety of the United States is condensed to basically half of Rhode, of Rhode Island. Marcus Vaughn. These are the people I need you to kill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Marcus is a Cali boy, and so is Valerie. He's a North Carolina boy. Or North Carolina, excuse me. I, oh, God. And then Cali. She's not even old enough to drink. How the hell is she a nurse? No, she's old enough to save lives, I guess. Oh, that's true. She's fresh out of high school. It's really young. Though. She hasn't even finished college. That's really young. Only in anime land. Wow. Yeah, maybe she's a super doctor and we just don't know it yet. I figure like, you know, 23, 24 at the most. Yeah. I mean, you gotta go through med school and all that. But if like you're pre-med, that's still like, Jeez. Holy shit, we're forming an Avengers what team of super it? doctors. <laughs> yes. Oh. Mean, we need a guy with an eye patch now. I know, we had, I know we had a guy with the monocle, but we need a guy with an eye patch Bring now. him in. I no, need it. This for a long time. He's the one the that of did assembles the team. Of course, she she doesn't have an eye patch. She's not assembling the team. You, since it's such a small team. Thanks for your concern. But if we'll be dealing with mainly new diseases, then we'll be performing fewer operations. I hope that won't affect my salary. <laughs> what salary? You're hourly now. No, being a smart ass will. I hope uh, minimum wage will do. No need to worry. We'll be referring plenty of patients to <laughs> special cases which may require I'm gonna work you, you for that <laughs> salary position. Well, that's good to hear. Ooh, she's giving us special cases. You have mandatory overtime, you have to work Your weekends, no holidays off, and also you have two days of vacation time per year. Oh, so a basic salary job. Cool. Dr. Vaughn and Dr. Blaylock with the operations assigned to them. Thank you very much. I like how we have to drag her along for some reason. I'll do my best, just as I did it. Like it's Marcus, Valerie, you will be taking a very important step into the development the of uh, like uh, medical defense against terrorism. And Elena, you will also be there too. She's in the background. Hi! Yay! Yay! Regarding that matter, we've only encountered stigma. In <laughs> I'm just thinking conceited Marcus Vaughn is just like, yeah, it's me. I'm the one with the healing touch. Here are my two cheerleaders behind me. Marcus, Marcus, Ooh. he's our man. He can't do what stigma can. <laughs> and then stigma wipes out half the U.S. Oh no. You may be surprised at how much you recall. Extraordinary events leave deep imprints on our memory. I hope well, well uh, unless if they're traumatic, in which case your brain tries to wipe them out. Well, ma'am, I leave deep I imprints on people's I memories. What do you think of that? <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> you tell how hard you squeeze in those girls' tits? <laughs> Just face plant directly into them. Oh, them. God! Get out of her chest! <laughs> that won't be necessary. <laughs> this is a hospital, not a brothel. <laughs> Not a frat well, house. Get out of here. They haven't even demanded a ransom. I still feel uneasy about all this. But <laughs> me? Yeah, me too, sugar tits. We'll do what we can. Ah, oh, and this is why I have a higher salary. I hope we can cover everything before my guest arrives. Elena's like, wait, you guys are getting paid? <laughs> 
They started me as intern. Yeah, Ooh, yours. my poor sweet summer child. My father was like, intern? Wow. This is volunteer work. Yes, As assistant. I knew Caduceus would be amazing, but this is Marcus, what have you been telling them? This is a futuristic office. What even is this? I love those useless corners on that monitor for the computer. There. I was just thinking that, yeah. Even though you're is, is that where the speakers Caduceus, come out? Is that like a compact presario type deal or something? Started. Yeah, nice we work PC with a handle, nerd. nerd. But at the same time, we see regular patients. What's that? Yes. <laughs> Two gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> you know what's messed up? Well, it can't be any worse uh, than Concordia. I mean, we weren't exactly. There are phones out there that have more RAM than my laptop did when I was in college. Yikes! Yikes! Not this one. This is like three and a half gigs. My laptop had four. There are total Look, of I just know the first laptop I ever got didn't have enough RAM to run Windows Media Player. <laughs> So, oh. it was pretty much a brick. What did you have, Windows 3? It's, I had Windows fucking broken. It couldn't handle the operating system. Okay. Yo, what's up? Dr. Windows ME. This is Dr. Everett, our chief surgeon. He looks like he's in pain. Is something wrong? <laughs> this is my RBF. What are you talking about? <laughs> I got cholelithiasis. Wait, whose voice is that? I was going to ask Dr. Suji. To remove the gallstones, but I can't find her anywhere. Okay, it's not who I thought. I can't take this anymore. Our Let chief her. surgeon needs gallstones Can removed. How ironic. Me, you can do it yourself, can't you? I wish I could. Grab but the I laser. A visitor shortly. Two. But I can't stand the pain any longer. Hmm. Are these the new doctors? <laughs> that's that, that's about? that's kind of messed up, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, I've got I've got yes, some stomach ulcers. Yeah. Hey, could you uh, could we just pop in a surgery real quick and you take care of them for me? I don't care who does it. I just, I just love how she basically says, "Nut up or shut up. Here are yeah. your here's your new help. Just take a couple of roll You'll be fine." So Jesus, he is, is actually saying, saying "Put me under the knife, new people." Oh, we are. Oh my god. I mean, if you're if okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Don't you need to like pre like prepare and like di like discuss I, it? Like, I, can't just walk in and be like, oh god, I need surgery, help. Where are they? Right here! Colithiasis. Colithiasis has worsened. Has worsened. Extraction Ex of gallbladder Wait, and fragmentation. Wait, the entire gallbladder? <laughs> and his gallstones? You can't just do that on a whim! That's his fucking introduction? You can't just... I. Uh, Hi, how's it going? My name's Justin Everett. Could you take my gallstone, my fucking gallbladder out? Let me explain the chart. Doctor Everett has cholelithiasis and has been experiencing pain for three years. And and today of all days is when he said enough is enough. Three years. Just imagine if this was our initiation. Hey, you either remove his gallbladder or he dies. However, it seems he's far more interested. I feel like we're gonna pull out a shot putt or something <laughs> instead of a gallbladder. I think it's it's completely calcified. Is that really what it is, Marcus? I think it's just you know, grin and bear it. Although he was saying I, I'd do it myself, though. <laughs> it's like trying to insert your own catheter. I don't need nobody to do this. It's easy. All I gotta do is put it in here. That's a rectal thermometer, not a catheter. Oh! Well, what's a catheter? This is a catheter. Oh, that's easy too. It doesn't go there. It goes somewhere else. Somewhere else. Where? Oh no! No! Well, I must be going. I'll leave the rest to you three. Yeah, you better get out of here. It's gonna get. It's it's gonna get real messy. So tell me about yourself. Well. <laughs> Okay, yeah, started. it's fascinating, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's great. Uh, can we uh, put that anesthetic up to eleven, please? I don't want him waking up for like another <laughs> couple weeks. Okay. <laughs> oh, how long has it been? Well, we've been keeping you alive through a feeding tube. I, I have a feeling we're gonna need to take out his gallbladder with a chisel. He's pretty built. Let's see what we're working with here. Well, that looks like something. Fragmenting the gallstones. If a gallstone passes completely through the epithelium, the patient's vitals will drop. So this was debilitating to him. Let's begin by using the ultrasound to locate the gallstones. There's a gallstone. There we go. Use a laser to break it up. The gallstone has been fragmented. Let's begin extracting the gallbladder as well. 
Do you want me to... Uh, I don't know what we're doing. I'm just... Let me look for gallstones. Okay, you get rid of the gallbladder. Sedative. Inject the sedatives into the gallbladder. Uh, right up here. Right up here. Right. Yes, yes. I got you. I got you. Right, you do that. I got, I got, I'll get this up here. Right in that. This down here. Drain that. How you doing over there, Marcus? Uh, doing okay. Drain that. This over here. Ooh, hey, there's some vitals. There's some vitals. Those there's are, some freaking vitals are, there, brother. Those are vitals for days. All right, you extract that gold butter. Plunk! Hemorrhaging antibiotic gel. Take care of that hemorrhaging doctor. Then suture it. Any suture? Here, here we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, that was... No, it was all right. Here, I got it. <laughs> I think you signed your name again. <laughs> Love Valerie. Oh, and boom. There you go. Good job. Mwah. <laughs> that was actually a pretty cool one. Yeah. We haven't had to do many extractions. That's uh, that's why I like New Blood and Trauma Team better than Second Opinion. I think, because after a certain point, Second Opinion is all just guilt, 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 time bomb, guilt, guilt, guilt. guilt. Already performing emergency surgeries. Actually, yeah. Wasn't it like next. mid chapter two where they're like, but by the way, I guilt. Good to get our feet and then it's all guilt all the time. Maybe a couple of things here and there, but mostly guilt. I still love the airplane mission in Second Opinion. That one's really cool. Yeah. Oh. Even though I think we like offed a motherfucker up there, but you know it's fine. Of course, I'd expect nothing less. We always do our best. Except for Marcus. He's barely awake. He just does. He he does. He does. He does. Tomorrow we'll meet. And that's all I can say about that. We like him though. He's. I'm on you both. He is. That's all I can say. He is. Like she said. He is what? We Don't worry about it. He is. What have we got next? That certainly was a special assignment. We got oh. Q and A. Oh, cool. Uh, hey, the, hey, uh, comment section. Ask us. Ask us anything. We, 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 we've got uh, qu quacks and axe. We got cute and as. <laughs> we've got quit and abort. So we're both quitting, is, is what I'm hearing from this. Yeah, so we'll see you next time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. Now let's get some Q&A in here. The Nurse Center. This is where all your Elenas are manufactured. Oh! Wow! You Whoa! Your first day here? You must be good. No. Girl, what's your number? Were good. I'm just fortunate to be working with them. Sounds like you work well with them. In my case, it I don't have a bottom system. half. I get They're all they're just floating Ezra top halves. Suji, on the other hand. Oh, <laughs> Makes it hard to walk around. You're a gossipy little shit, aren't you? By the way, Ms. Newman, <laughs> about the operating room support system. Uh, that, oh, that confrontational face does. Elena has. Yes, Dr. Leslie. Now, it's our responsibility as nurses to manage the support system. It'll probably take some time, but once you get used to it... You know, I actually know somebody who's a nurse a at our local hospital. Wanna give it a and uh, she OR? said, well, because I'm night shift, to... half the time... Well, most of her time is helping out patients, Regardless making sure everything disease, is stocked. Which has tentatively been made About 10% of that is pulling pranks on the other nurses. We received a Not all of them are nice. Security Council and have well, great hospital an we got. Mm -hmm. and that's why everything takes so long at night. Yep. level is unknown, but I can say that the pathogen possesses astonishing mobility. It was unclear whether it even existed until now, but the Wilkins case put an end to the debate. And we are basically <gasps> all according to Kei Kaku. Oh, yes. everyone is hot in this game. I can't stand it. Oh, pardon me. I'm Kanae Tsuji, a surgeon. Kanae Tsuji. Nice to meet Kanane? you. Kanae? Kanae. Kanae. You're absolutely correct, Kanae. 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 The information Kanae. by Dr. Vaughn and Dr. Blaylock is Kanae. our own investigation of Kanae. That's the theory. Corn. And it's worth noting, Candy corn. Professor Wilkins was conducting all the research on his own, without help from other doctors. We spent less than a month there following our transfer, but during that time... To be honest, <laughs> the NSC never... Easy there, dude! Easy there, dude! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, all right, all right. Holy shit! 
At this point, the <laughs> itchy trigger finger on this doctor. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I, I hate medical conferences. No concern of our entire organization. <laughs> but we need to learn about the evil. Do, no, I want to cut people up. You don't, you don't you don't pay me to listen to people talk about shit. We've already discussed those oh, I heard you removed Doctor Everett's gallbladder. Hey, that was my initiation too. He just keeps growing them back. It's can, weird. Can, can I keep it? I still got mine from '84. I heard it bark. I want to keep it as a pet. It's unfortunate, though, that Professor Wilkins. How are you up and moving? And by an unidentified assailant at that. Oh God, there's the evil doctor ninjas. Easy about this. We're hoping that the professor is still alive. From now on, if any new cases of stigma arise here, they're in the coming US, right here. Kill them. The patients will be transferred to this <laughs> facility wherever <laughs> possible. Stop the spread. Oh, I mean. Oh my God, I think I have stigma. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> The operating yeah. Will be well, I checked WebMD and it's either stigma or a common cold. Wait, no, no! <laughs> Their prior experience well, Dr. Google always tells you that, you know, what you have is going to kill you. Better safe than sorry. I personally stand God, if that happened, just, you just see the masses the just drop. To witness their expertise, like, oh, I stubbed my toe. Wait, wait, wait! Ah! I look forward to Can't risk it. The infamous healing touch. Infamous? Healing touch is seen as a bad thing for some reason in this universe. Expected. What have we gotten ourselves into, Marcus? Were you? Are we really getting by what they like already knew? browbeaten by these newer doctors? A doctor considers any. Well, they've been at Kadushis for a while. They've been paid in. They're I rich. Guess, I well, guess. I'm surprised. I mean, we only came here from a hovel in Alaska just because Elena had a big had a big no thing for yeah, us, and uh, I know. We're, really, we're, we're riding on the coattails of Marcus Vaughn here. Oh, elegant superstar, 34 years old. Oh wow. Ooh, look at him, Mr. Man. Look, if a 34 year old is having what is essentially nom yes, flashbacks so because be of his healing touch. Uh, I think I want to work under him. All right, then I'm going to go home and get some sleep. Oh, finally. You haven't slept in five months. Doctor, we just... And... Yeah, <laughs> of course. What happened? Um, uh, well, I still got about eight caffeine pills left. Oh, God. <laughs> All of them at once. Serious condition. Oh, 30 people? Are we going to do 30 people? Please, no. We almost didn't manage the five. No, only 15. Uh, can you let them know that we'll accept the patients? It, but no, no, we can't. Valerie? Get someone else to... Accident victim with chest complications. Details on Canon. <laughs> oh no, he's got stigma. Sorry. <laughs> no eye response, incoherent speech, decerebrate posture. Just sounds like a Reddit user. Sounds like a town drunk. It's like, sir, are you okay? <laughs> The patient has taken considerable damage to the right half of his body, and his lungs may be at risk. So stab there first, gotcha. He's definitely in bad shape. Get a lot of that air out so I can operate. These are in the way. I can only operate if it's flat, okay? We'll inflate it like a balloon later. Are difficult to determine right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this isn't working. <laughs> Oh! Oh! It, it, it's okay, I got fix a flat. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it appears now another problem has been. <laughs> Hold on, he's got a bad case of cement lung. <laughs> What's the matter? I filled your lungs. And, you know, I popped it accidentally. Marcus! <laughs> Get in here! <laughs> Mrs. Spacely, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, okay. Who put this glass in here? Very irresponsible. Who even does that? All right. All right, we can operate quickly. Right, ah, there you go. I, I got the glass. Grab if you that would, glass. Want, if you uh, can stitch him up. Seal him up just a little bit. There we go. All right, next. Oh, now okay. let's cut this guy open. Cool. Oh, uh, can you get vitals real quick? Yeah, vitals. We'll see what see what's happening in here. Okay, get started. And, and tear, then tear your wounds. I nearly just cut him open more. Oops. Looking at 64 right now. Let's kind of keep it like that. Use the forceps. Yes, yes, no. yes. Thank okay. you. Thank you. I know what I'm doing. Don't fucking, don't fucking patronize here. Contradict me ever, <laughs> Elena. Don't you ever. Can I, can I like, is there more? Oh. Trying to. There we go. There we go. I did, I did it. <laughs> Use the magnification tool to yeah, change yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, uh, let's let's fix this first. Shink. There we go. Uh, I got this one. I got this one. I got that. 
Yeah, Hopefully. That. There we go. Right there. Ta-da! Cool. Right, there we go. Uh, all the way down. Hey! Ta-da! There we go. All right. The hemorrhage is formed. Use the antibiotic gel to treat it. That's cool. And then just gel all over the place. Uh, was there anything over... Uh, so, sorry? Stuff here. Sorry? Okay, cool. There we go. Okay, cool. Cool, okay. All right. Yeah. Let's close them up. <laughs> What do you mean, bad? Yeah, you're bad. Game. No, I'm not. Game. That's cool. Complete. So all that... Yeah. I think I do see some smoke coming off the Wiimotes. Oh, that's because they're old, yeah. Oh, well, and... Change of batteries usually fixes that. Clean the connectors. <laughs> and... Fuck you! How do we go for that entire, like, talky-talky bit and only have to heal one guy? Well... Well, the other 29 patients, they, uh... Perished. See, this guy was rich, so he was able to pie his way in. Oh. That was very okay. Impressive. You don't mind. <laughs> Something I, I heard yesterday. My brother-in-law's dad yeah. is yeah. selling one of his properties, mm -hmm. well, and he wanted to get the electric money, turned off so he wouldn't have to pay for it anymore. Right. They said, oh, sorry, sir, it's, we don't have any uh, technicians out right now. It'll probably be uh, a couple more days, possibly a week, before we can get out there and disconnect your electric. And he says... Oh, that's a shame, because I'm trying to sell this land so I can build a $500,000 new home on top of it. They said, we'll get someone out there tomorrow. Yep, yep. It's hilarious how much money talks. That's also extremely sad. All right, one more. You want to do one more? Do one more. Get some collaborative research. Okay. This sounds like another medical conference. Are you sure you want to do one more? Totally. Are I'm you going sure? to I'm going to listen very oh, intently don't do to it. what don't everybody do it. says. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, no. Don't. Don't. Uh, wait. wait. But first, let me introduce you to our head of research. Derek? Is that you? Hello. Hello. Uh, Dr. Robert Cromwell. This guy was in a uh, Devo tribute band at Dr. one point. And Dr. Oh you, my nice god. Why does he have a bunch of different vials with a bunch of different meds in his pocket? He's the chemistry guy, clearly. Those are urine samples, and he's seeing how different cleaners react with it. We it science! It's nice to meet you, too. It would be yeah, it's uh, it's nice to meet you. Why does he smell weird? Uh, I've got 18 different kinds of pheromones on me. I'm seeing which one attracts the female species. So far, none of them. But I've been getting some promising results from the gorilla pheromones. <laughs> it makes me act like a gorilla. Ooh. I just got a feeling one of these characters that don't have very many facial features is gonna have one where they turn evil and they obviously betray us later on. Might be someone who's wearing glasses. You can't trust anybody oh, with glasses. come on now! <laughs> By the way, just so you know, I'm gonna backstab you later. Oh. See, you can't trust me because I'm wearing glasses. I'm deceiving you. I'm not really gonna backstab you. I think the real Bam, backstab. I think the real backstab is whether or not you're telling the truth. <laughs> I decided to lie today. I won't backstab you yet. I'll front stab you. <laughs> I appreciate your vote of confidence, even if it is a bit exaggerated. He's a dedicated. We have a colorful cast of characters here at Caduceus. Now then, there's an operation I'd like the two of you to perform. What you got, man? Research you're contributing to will give me. I want you to transport this person's nerve endings into this person. Every single nerve ending. That way, this person can feel for both him and the other person. Sharing the pain. I like what you got here. Astronomical research budget. Mostly. Astronomical, you say? Trying to make a name for themselves. You know how difficult it is to produce significant results when conducting revolutionary research. But I, 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 I do. Also have generous supporters such as viewers like you. Oh, Ooh, Kong, hello. You have friends with you today. What? Would you Everyone is hot. Pretty please. Holy God! This is the sexiest city in the world. I, I apparently, I don't. I need to move to Maryland. Like, like, e like even this guy. I bet he could do it for some people. She's a representative of the Humani Corporation. I, I bet he has like you know, darling, gorgeous bedroom I'm eyes when he takes his glasses off. Just imagining your comment section, Dilf! Dilf, Dilf alert! Nice to meet you. I saw a t-shirt that said Dilf. Damn, I love fishing. <laughs> I, I've seen a few of those, uh, especially MILF. Man, I love feet. Or, man, I love furries. 
I hope my looks don't give you the wrong impression about our company. We're at, no, we do very ugly work, actually. Industry, Every single patient of ours is fucking dog-like. Can you please fix them? Ah, cosmetic surgery! Gotcha! The way in regenerative medicine. Regenerative medicine? Well, if there's anything I can do for I want people to be crabs. Grow back all their limbs and such. What's that one Spider-Man comic? But you could use your money to cure cancer! I don't want to cure cancer. cancer! I want to turn people into dinosaurs! Yes! <laughs> we might actually have a dinosaur person by the end of this. Oh, do we have another nurse? The operation that you'll be performing would not be possible without her help. Oh, really? You're gonna be... What the fuck?! God damn! Sheesh! You said you'd introduce me to the doctors today. Yeah, you I, be, you belong in a Shin Megami Tensei game. I swear, you're you're like the what the fuck? You're, you're the law ending or something. <laughs> you're, the, you're the one who makes a pact with God to wipe out all the non-believers. Yeah, exactly. No matter no matter how minute. Valerie, Valerie Blayla. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. Oh, what's up, girl? Girl, I haven't seen you in forever. They, they squeal and they, they hug and then they're like, "Hi, how's it going?" Like, guy. You became a doctor. I never expected to see you here. Yeah, I figured you'd places. die in a gutter somewhere. Good to see you, girl. Marcus? This is great. I'm Marcus Vaughn. Sorry to interrupt such a. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, "Hi." Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cold as ice. Ooh. 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 Oh, ice cold <laughs> coffee all the way there, Marcus. Yo. Oh man, you weren't oh. you weren't even flirting as she shot you down. I would actually kind of like it if she started if she was like, "Hey Marcus, can you get us some coffees?" And he's like, "Oh shit, obliterative cardiomyopathy. What Requ requires myocardial patch transplants made from a new material?" Okay, what? Allow me to explain the details of the operation. As explain well as anything to me, please. Oh, you can say whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Go right ahead. A ten-year-old girl with an occlusion in her heart. Mm, I love ten-year-old girls. Hey, wait, 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 no, no. Oh, wait, wait he's got stigma. No, God! If this continues, <laughs> she'll have a myocardial infection. <laughs> he was coming at me with stigma. What do you want? Where the myocardial patch comes in. I don't know much about it. It's a form of synthetic membrane. Ah! Yes, it's a new type of synthetic membrane that uses the whole cell voltage clamp. The membrane itself is elastic and helps the heart move. Uh huh. So we're basically creating heart rhythm. I feel like I'm watching how it's made. Miracle of science. It's only as incredible as the. And then we put. Beep! We gotta hurry here! Come on! Nothing like a little pressure. Tick tock, tick tock. We'll do our best, of course. I can promise you that. I'm glad to hear it. So we'll don't screw it up. Don't be like you in high school. Ooh, digging up old wounds. Objective? Yes, that's correct. This operation will be performed without stopping her heart. <gasps> oh. I have faith in Caduceus. And okay. In all of you. First thing I'm doing is stopping that heart. <laughs> no, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna stop that heart. No, no, we we we're not stopping the heart. I'm gonna stop it. Very mannequin-looking ten-year-old, but that's all right. All right, we gotta be gentle, Shit. gentle, gentle. Shit! Shit! There. Shit! <laughs> gentle, gentle. Let's confirm the procedure. Of three areas of occlusion have been located on the By heart. the myocardium we'll myocardium patch to all of them. And keep the place this is a bit more involved than the original the trauma center, that's for sure. If the myo myocardium patch isn't placed correctly, the patient may undergo cardiac arrest. Okay, so gel. Okay. Ooh, okay. It needs to be placed on correctly, so do you want to do this, or? I this. <sighs> I let go for one second. Alright, just like... <sighs> okay, I got this next one. Okay. There's a possibility that the already weakened areas of the myocardium may Oh, hemorrhaging. Okay. I'll keep an eye on that. Okay. With the antibiotic gel before its condition worsens. All right. Gotcha. You got this. What? The guide moved. Okay. Whoa! 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 When the size of the guide matches the size of the patch. Doctor. Oh, you fuck. Oh no. 
Saver! Oh, fuck. We did it. Alright, cool. So get those vitals back up, if you would, please. If you would, please, Doctor. Let me get that. Let me get those vitals back up. Motherfucker! I get scared. Oops. Oops. Saver! There we go. Alright. So, uh, anyway, about those vitals. About those vitals. There we go. I'll get this. Yes, one. please get that one. I'll I'll keep this gal alive. Oh nah! It, just when I was gonna. Yep, yep. Yeah, it, yeah, it does change yeah. angles. I don't like that very right, much. Right when I was about to let go too, those motherfuckers. All right, so it's gonna be like. Oh, it's adjusting. Oh, Damn yeah. it! <laughs> it's because there's blood there. You gotta get that blood. Come oh. on. Come on! Uh, there we go. And... Got it. Yep. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. There we go. Got it. Nothing to it. So about that not stopping the heart thing... It's fine! Hit like a punch. <laughs> Good old Looney Tunes. <laughs> Good, right? That's that, was good, good, right? that was a good signature, dude. It's good, right? <laughs> I like it. I like yeah. it. It's unique. It's a, it's a tra traditional Chinese and... way of doing it. Boop. Got it. Good work, everyone. Look at that 99 vitals. She didn't feel a thing. Are there tears? That's yeah, fine. <clears throat> it's so beautiful. Yeah, and her lovely, lovely golden blue <laughs> eyes. And oh, uh, oh, oh no. Oh, what do you mean she forgot the anesthetic? Uh, oh, uh, what a rookie mistake. Uh, oh, uh, Oh, I was wondering why I was hearing screaming. I thought, I thought that was you. Look, I only screamed during that one surgery. I got scared because the lights went off and we had to use the defibrillator to light the place up. Wait, the one time I've been hearing screaming for the past five operations. That must mean oh, no. it was me then. I was, scre oh, okay, I, I okay. was screaming. Okay. Right, right, right. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing more operations like this one. Well, we wouldn't With you in the room. <laughs> Let's find more children to carve up. <laughs> and save! And save! Save them! Maybe you should have led with that, Marcus. And also that first statement. <laughs> maybe keep that fucking shit out, okay? Currently in the planning stages. In time, we'll show you what we're capable of. Is it fair to have the, the, sex, the sexy man doctor be an idiot? <laughs> he does that a lot. Man, I love fucking children's frozen dinners. They're so good. I love having them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's start that statement then. <laughs> I love fucking children's moms. All right. That's, what, that's not good either. Uh, well, uh, whatever. The kids survive, so I deserve some sort of payment. Uh, next time we're getting a cursed burden. I believe they call that a child. Yeah, they do. They do. Well done. I did it. I did it. Mission accomplished, Doctor. Good job. Good job, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor.